Hi, Fiona here from Spider Arts. We've got our first video for you today and it's going to show you how to make spider web dream catchers. So all you really need is simple materials. You can use a, a paper plate for your circle part and you need a pair of scissors, pencil, a hole punch. You can just use the regular kind if that's what you have and any little odds and ends of wool that you've got. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to cut the centre out of our circle and as you'll have noticed in the paper plate, they have this circle already on them. So just so it's easier to see, I'm going to outline it for you. Okay. And to cut this out safely, the best thing to do is just to pinch it in the middle. Don't squeeze right to the edge or you'll put a fold in that. And you're going to make a little snip, open it up, and now you can get your scissors in and cut to the edge. So we're going to quickly cut that circle out. Now the next thing you might want to do, if you've got the time, is to put some really nice colourful Halloween-y patterns on the outside. I've not got time to do that today, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit. And here is one I have that's already got a pattern on it. So I'm cheating, but as I say, you can do some really fancy patterns on your paper plates or you can use Halloween stickers, whatever it is you have to hand. So once you've decorated your plate, you're going to put holes all the way around the edge and try and space them evenly as you go. A single hole punch is great for this if you have one, but as I say, you can use a regular hole punch if that's what you have in your house. So I'm trying to keep them quite even as I go. There we are. And I think I'm going to start off with this nice Halloweeny green wool. And all we're going to do to begin with is tie it onto the first hole. Any hole you like to start with. Now you've got a choice to make now. There is an easy way to do this where you can just thread your paper plate up and do it any way you like. You can go from hole to hole to hole to hole to hole in any direction you like. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you what that's like. And there is another way to do it as well that is a bit more tricky for grown-ups or for any older children that might be watching. Okay, so you can see I'm just zigzagging about just now, pulling it through the hoops as I go. If you want to get really fancy, you can add beads on as you go. All you would need to do is thread your little beads onto the string and then continue crisscrossing into the holes as you go along. And do that until you feel like it looks as good as you want it to be. And the other thing you might want to do, you might want to switch colours. You just tie your next colour on and keep going if you want to do that experiment. And we'd love to see how yours turns out. Okay, and if we've got some older children watching or some adults that want to join in, I'm going to show you the trickier way to do it now, which gives you the more authentic dream catcher look. So again, start in the same way, you've got your paper plate with the holes, tie it onto the first hole, and then for the next one, take your end, you go into the next hole, and then pull until you've got like a little U shape, and then bring your tail up through the middle of that U shape. So if I show you that there, you see that? So just up there, down and through the middle and then pull tight and that grabs it onto the side. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So down the hole, up the next hole, pull tight and repeat. If you've got a little plastic needle, that can come in handy as well. Just makes it a little bit less fiddly to get it through the holes. And if you're just using scraps of wool, don't worry if you run out. You can just join on another piece or another colour. It looks really cool, all multicoloured as well. So there we go. We're on to our next row now. We've been round all the way once. And now instead of going on to the hole, we're going over the top of the first bit of wool that we come across. So this first little line here, we're putting our wool over that and coming through the middle and pulling tight. And then we do that on each of those as we go around. And before you know it, you'll start to see the pattern emerging. 
and I want to stop there for a moment and add on some more wool. So a little tip for joining wool together, you just get your two ends, put them side by side like that, fold them tight, wrap them around your fingers and pull both tails through that loop that you've made and pull tight. And then you can just cut off the extra. There we go. Nice secure knot, two bits of wool joined together. So as you can see, I just continued round and round there and I popped my little bead on. Um, I just went for one, but you can use whatever you have handy. And that's it done. You can add a little bit for hanging it up. That's really easy. You just need to thread your wool through. And again, you can tie it in a knot at the top. And that gives you just a little hanging loop to hang it up. And I've made a little extra hole here at the bottom. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to go for the traditional look, like the Native American Chippewa tribe, you might want to add some little bits hanging down now. They would traditionally use little thin strips of leather to do this. And they would have some hanging down with beads threaded on and a feather at the end. Although I was thinking for this one, seeing as it's Halloween, I might make a little pom-pom spider with a uh, pipe cleaner legs. You could add a little spider if you like or anything else that you think would make it look really good. to do it. We have the tricky way and we have the quick and easy way. Have a go yourself and we'd love to see how they turn out. Have fun! Bye! to get really fancy and you don't have any paper plates at home you could use an embroidery hoop or you could make your own hoop out of a twig so you need a thin flexible twig and wrap it round into a hoop and you can secure it with some wire or some string.